The Soviet Union would produce the famous Katyusha rocket truck. The Americans would later have the Sherman rocket tank. The Germans developed an equally fearsome weapon, the Panzerwerfer or armored mortar, a truly impressive though rather rare beast. Panzer mit aufmontierten Werfern, mehr und mehr geben sie mit ihrem vernichtenden Feuer der Schlacht ihr Gepräge. Germans had made good use of rockets and the role of artillery for some time, the most famous being a series of weapons known collectively as the Nebelwerfer, or smoke mortar, though it did much more than lay down smoke. The Germans had been some of the pioneers in the development of rockets in the 1920s and 30s, and the first frontline weapons system delivered to troops in 1940 was the Nebelwerfer 41, six tubes, firing 15-centimeter rockets mounted on a wheel carriage adapted from that used on the 3.7-centimeter Pac-36 anti-tank gun. It had a range of 6,900 meters or 7,500 yards, and the weapons were used in batteries, the fin stabilized rockets coming in high explosive, smoke, or chemical rounds. Very effective, and due to the rocket's distinctive sound, a morale lowerer to those Allied troops on the receiving end of what was quickly dubbed the Screaming Mimi or the Moaning Mini. Obviously, due to the smoke and noise generated by these things when they fired, they were very vulnerable to counter-battery fire from Allied artillery and or air attack, particularly on the Western Front. The Germans decided that mounting the Nebelwerfer 41 on some kind of armoured cross-country vehicle would negate some of the dangers to crew and equipment, increase battery mobility, and allow greater cooperation between rocket troops and Panzer and Panzergrenadier divisions, the Germans' main offensive arms. In production from April 1943 to April 1945, this vehicle, the Panzerwerfer 42 Alf Multier, or SDKFZ 4-1, was the weapon that was produced. The Multier half-track was built in large numbers, some 12,500 being constructed, primarily to aid the German army's movements on the Eastern Front, where wheels-only supply trucks couldn't cope with the primitive road system and snow, ice, and mud. This four and a half ton half track was considered ideal for conversion into the Panzerwerfer 42. Some 300 were built with an armored crew cabin and a 10 barreled Nibelwerfer 41 mounted on the rear deck. The vehicle's weight increased to 7.1 tons with a top speed of 40 kilometers an hour. Each vehicle carried 20 rockets, so it could fire two salvos before having to retire and reload. Each battery was also equipped with a supply version of the half-track, the Munitionskraftwagen, with Opel building 289 of these. The Western Allies first encountered the type during the Battle of Normandy in the summer of 1944. They were used mostly against British and Canadian units, as the Germans massed most of their Panzer forces in the north around the city of Caen, and Panzerwerfer batteries ended up flinging huge amounts of munitions against the enemy. For example, during German operations to recapture the strategically important Hill 112 in late June 1944, the 7th Werfer Brigade's two regiments, consisting of about two dozen Panzerwerfers, plastered British positions with 8,000 tons of rockets. <laughs> The US Army encountered the type in force during the Ardennes Offensive in December 1944, and the Soviets, no strangers to rocket artillery themselves, were heavily bombarded by Panzerwerfer during their final drive on Berlin in April 1945 and during the battle for the German capital.
As with all German armoured vehicles and weapons systems, there were never nearly enough in comparison to the Allies to really make a difference to the overall strategic situation. These vehicles became victims of fuel and spare part shortages as well, as Hitler's armies struggled into the final months of the war in Europe. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also visit my audio book channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.